And Philip says, is there a place where I can report bad tenants so that other landlords can see who these tenants are? He says, we had a tenant, and for the past three months, the tenant didn't pay rent. Uh, he says, he went to the rental tribunal, he followed the law, but then he says, in the, in the night, these people took, and in his words, he says, they took off like a thief in the night, meaning they just left the property, they didn't pay him the rent. Now he wants to know where can he actually report these tenants to. Solna, what advice can you provide Sol, uh, Philip with? I am so happy you asked this question, Philip, because um, I think if uh, for for me in the in the property industry, especially rental side of things, it's it's a very obvious answer. Uh, TPN tenant profile network would, would would be the thing I go to. But I'm so grateful that you asked the question because I think this is a very important thing um, to to also get out to our viewers because TPN is the exact way that we use and shape uh, that we shape um, the type of tenants that we are working with in the in the rental industry. So TPN tenant profile network is a credit bureau specifically collecting um, rental uh, be, uh, tenant behavior data. So it's not just the tenant, um, the tenants that default to the point where you have a default listed, a blacklisting is the, is the uh, term that most people use. It's not just for that. They have um, a, a payment profile uh, recording system. So you record the tenant's Pro, uh, payment profile data. So every month, if your tenant pays on time, um, within the allowed period of time, in full and in time, you record it as such. If your tenant paid in seven days, they call it a grace period payment. Guys, please remember in law, there isn't a legal grace period. They just mean in seven days. So it's not the guy that waits until the end of the month or the guys that did not pay or partially paid. So you update your tenant's payment profile on a monthly basis. What's awesome about this is any time you have a default of a or a judgment, so a blacklisting or a judgment, that data defaults only sit on our credit bureaus for three years, um, where a judgment sits for five years. But every single time prior to an election, we have a full credit amnesty. And uh, it's, I'm, I'm just saying it as it is, because after a while you can say it, we, we know this. A credit amnesty wipes your credit bureaus completely of your defaults as well as your judgments. You can still enforce the judgment, but it won't reflect on your uh, credit bureau data. Now, what's amazing about TPN's payment profile data is that is unaffected by a credit amnesty and you can keep that data forever and ever and ever. So if you do tenant vetting now, so when you want to uh, consider whether you're going to place this tenant or not, you will be able to see as far back as 2017 um, how this guy paid. And it's not just his rent uh, because uh, all the credit bureaus in South Africa has to share their data. Uh, so Experian, TransUnion, uh, those guys, ITC is usually the, the collective um, that people use for it. Uh, all our credit bureaus share data across, and you will be able to see uh, not just how he pays his APS account, but how does he actually pay his rent. So that was a long answer, Philip, but TPN, and you can find them on www.tpntenantprofilenetwork.co.za. Um, really, that's uh, the only place you go, and you can list um, abscontions and everything uh, the, the tenant does.